More Americans died in 2014 from drug overdoses than from motor vehicle crashes. A majority of those deaths involve opioids. And most people who misuse prescription drugs get them from the medicine cabinets of family and friends. The story that I've heard over and over again is the similar. Leading a star athlete who has been injured in the sports, they're in so much pain. They uh, then get on the on-ramp to heroin abuse by uh, taking opioids. Walgreens is going to make it easier for the disposal of unused over-the-counter, controlled substance, and non-controlled substance medications by installing safe medication disposal kiosks in more than 500 drugstores across the U.S. and Washington, D.C. The second program today that we're announcing is also a big step. It's Walgreens' commitment to making naloxone, the life-saving opioid antidote, available without a prescription. The safe and responsible disposal of unwanted, unused drugs is a critical part of our strategy and our interagency partnerships. Over the past few months, we've been working with the DEA, the Office of Drug Diversion, our local senator and congressman, and many, many others to try and put this program together. So this is something that everybody has to work together to fix, and having Walgreens on that team is critical. By having Walgreens roll this out nationwide, we know that it's going to save countless lives. This is an example of a corporation, an organization that wants to give back to their communities, and they are not going to sit idly by. They're going to actually step up, have a positive impact on their communities, and I believe uh, make America a healthier place. Walgreens is committing to doing this for a couple of reasons, but one is we can and we should. We just want to help people. Our purpose is to champion everyone's right to be happy and healthy. And so this is just a great example of us living our purpose and doing what's right.